what is up you guys i'm back again it's dj lil and uh the question that i'm getting nowadays is can we use reason without a midi controller uh the answer is yes and that's what we'll be doing today i'll be showing you uh, how to do that exactly so uh if you come to reason here and just drag any instrument i'm just going to drag the the kong uh for demonstration and uh pretty much anything would do so what you have to do here is to bring the on-screen keyboard so you get it here on the window here and then you go down here you'll find the on-screen keyboard this one on-screen piano and uh, you just have to select uh, computer keys I think it comes like this then you just have to select here and it will show you the letters exactly like it looks on the keyboard. So when you press A, uh, W, S, it's going to play, right? It's going to play all the drum pads on that pad. So bring this up and then you're good to go. So whatever you bring here is just going to work. Like you can go to instrument and uh bring a piano or something you would like to start with uh let's see here piano radical piano i go to natural pianos i just throw anything here right so you press here like i said so the z z and x here stands for you can move uh on the keyboard whether you want to go higher or you want to go on the mid or you want to go low right that's it so here on your right here it says none light medium and heavy what actually mean what actually this means it's the velocity of the keys if you select on none everything you place it's just going to be on the same volume. Nothing will change. It will be on the same volume. And I think that sounds pretty harsh sometimes. When you put it on the light here, uh, it will put a little bit change into the velocity, but not too much. Medium does it uh, a little bit further. Heavy, it does it too much. So this is what I mean. If you put it on heavy and then you start placing here, it's not going to sound the same level. It's going to change. For example, if I place here and I place here, this one is going to sound different than this one. Like uh, you're playing manually, you see. So I think it sort of like helps. It helps because now not all the keys you're placing will sound on the same volume. And that brings some nice feel to it like a natural feel to it yeah so i just go with light here uh, i don't want to place it too much and then end up forgetting everything and uh let me try play chord here and see what goes all right so the way you place it on the keyboard is the way it's going to appear on that on screen keyboard as well in reason so you can just go and experiment how you feel like you know how you see it try to play as much as you can play you see quite that easy so find out what you want to do and go to record so record is as this you record here but what's better you can add this pre here so it gives you a four count one two three four before it starts recording that gives you actual time to put your hands on the codes and uh there's quantize here record quantize so you don't have to stress once you record it it's gonna try uh it's gonna put everything in place for you yeah as long as you got the uh the code notes the way you want them i don't know what this is but it's like this as long as you select the right one and then it's gonna quantize everything 
the way you want it. But here I'm just going to play basic, something that is 1 over 16 or 1 over uh, something normal, you know, not complicated. Yeah, so um, let's see. From here you say record. Okay, you can go ahead and pick your tempo as well. I'll say 90 and put it there. And I say record. So the shortcut for record here is start. Or you can go ahead and record here. But I just think it's time taking. So I press star and see what it does. See? So it gives you time until you start recording. So uh, let's get on the drums here yeah? pretty quick and see. All right, I think I might have gone too high on the octave. Yeah, where I needed to be was right there. Okay, let's start again. Right, you can just take that and cut it there. I see how the drum, then you can still add, you can say record here and just add the drum. Yeah, and just all right, let's pick it up from there. Um, there we go. Yeah, you got your part in there, so. Right? That's pretty simple. It's pretty simple like that. Pretty simple like that. And uh, you go ahead to your keyboard, try to play something there, you know. So. Right, I think. That sounds nice. I think that sounds nice. So let's play it again. Mm. Right, let's put it there. You get the idea. That's what's up. That's how you can work without a MIDI controller on Reason. Now, for those using the lower version of Reason, this is how you're going to work it. Uh, if you're using Reason Studios, which is 11, uh, there's a thing here called uh, Scales and Codes, which will help you move further and faster uh, without any delays here. If you don't know, how the co how you can play the chords and how they look like you just have to use this thing so it's on players so it's scales and chords you just drag it above your instrument and select what key you would love to be uh i'll say let's try that for these i just go and then just work it out work it out and then yeah so once you play chord, you play one note, but it plays chords, you see? So... So this is going to be a huge change for you. So now everything is going to be experimental. Go ahead, try it out, experiment on it, get the best results as you can get. So. Uh, in this case, I'll just play the chord and just mess around. Huh? Like that. See, you have played the chords without even knowing the actual theory of the uh, of what's going on underneath. This helps a lot and saves a lot of time to my music production nowadays. And uh, yeah. Uh, 
you can really come up with a beat pretty quick. Yeah, for this I just I just go with my guts most of the time, so I don't even. Yeah, for me it's just playing around, having a lot of fun with this software and get the best results as I can get. You see everything just falls in perfectly and for the bass for the bass is as simple as that as well go select a bass for yourself whichever bass you want to put up here um i'll just pick uh let me pick let me pick something that sounds natural here um uh anyway i'm gonna go down here oh this will sound natural i think so and then I'll go ahead, drag scales and chords there. And then here on the notes, I'll just pull it down to one because I'm playing bass and that's what I need it to do. And don't forget your key. That key you're in is uh, B flat minor. And go ahead and select that B flat minor. Right. So the same keys you were playing, playing the keyboard is the same keys on the bass. So I think that's it. So you 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 can have a lot of fun on this. You see you you can already see I'm jamming to it. You know something that's. You know, put bass, try put guitars and stuff. You go have a lot of fun with this. Now, putting up the bass. Oh, there my latency is very I think it's my drivers here so if your keyboard is responding slowly you just have to go to the drivers and I think make make the buffer size uh, small because the higher you go the slower it will get the slow the small you get the faster it will get but then I think if I go lower than this it's gonna start making some clipping noise and I don't like but anyway try to play it as perfect as you can and then it will capture it as perfect as it can and quantize it for you but you get the idea i think that's it about today and let's meet next time stay blessed